quickly I am going to tell you something regarding the column orientation. So we have column uh, layouts. So where all columns not in the same degree. Some columns having different orientations. To like input this kind of orientation, how to do an ETABS, I will tell you. So for that, I am just going to take new model. And I'm just going to use built-in settings and I'm just going to click OK. And I am just going to use the same default values with the grid only model and then click OK. Now we got the layout as it is. Now I'm just going to define my column. For defining the column, you can go for define and then section property and then frame sections. And uh, even you can able to add new property or you can able to modify these properties. If you want to modify this column, you can just select the thing and you can go for modify or show property. So here you can able to modify all those details, but I am going to create a new one. So for that, I'm going to use add new property icon. So in this, I'm just going to take this rectangle concrete I'm just going to name as B230 cross 500. So which means it is like beam, but we are going to create a column. So in that case C. So column of uh, width 230 mm and then um, length 500 mm. So height depends on the height of the story. So and then the width is 230 and then the depth is 500. So this one for column, we need to choose column here. So it is by default in column. If you want to make beam, you need to select beam. So now we are creating column. You need to select this option. And then even you can able to change the rebars also. But now I'm just going to deal with the orientation. No need to consider all those and click OK. And then click OK. Now we got this. So just click OK. And then uh, here you can go for drawing uh, quick columns. So just select it. And then you can choose the column that we have created just now. And uh, we are in a fourth story. Just select everything so you will be available with this columns in this layout. So right click to accept and then escape. Now if you want to like select a few columns and then you can select it. So like these columns I need to change the orientation. Just select those columns and then go for assign and then frame and then the local axis. So you need to go to assign frame local axis. So after going to this, you can change the values here like a degree I am just giving 90 degree and then apply. Once you apply, you can able to see how it changed the orientation. So like this, you can able to change the orientation of columns in your structure. Other option is, if you want to create a column, you can choose this. There you can able to change the degree. For example, if I want 45 degree column, you just specify 45 over there and you can click wherever you want. So it will create you the 45 degree column. If you want some other degree, you can able to go for 60 as well. So it depends on the structure, you know, like, uh, so this is having 60 degree orientation and this is having 45 degree orientation. If you want to go for a zero also, you can put So, uh, and also most of the cases we will be using 0 and 
so this is what i just want to let you know orientation of columns